The HAL Tejas MK2 continues to evolve as one of India's most ambitious indigenous defense projects. Designed as a multi-role, 4.5-generation fighter, it is built to bridge the gap between the light Tejas MK1A and heavy fighters like the Rafale and C-30MKI. The Tejas MK2's development embodies a blend of advanced aerodynamics, cutting-edge avionics, and an increased focus on survivability and mission flexibility. The aircraft is expected to meet the needs of the Indian Air Force for decades to come, offering a blend of agility, range, and payload capacity that aligns well with the growing demands of modern air warfare. It's not just an upgraded version of the MK-1A but a complete re-engineering of India's fighter philosophy, emphasizing speed, versatility, and technological independence. One of the most significant improvements in the MK-2 is its overall aerodynamic profile. The inclusion of cameras, which are small forewings near the cockpit, adds both stability and maneuverability, especially during high-angle turns. This allows the pilot to perform complex aerial maneuvers with precision and less drag. The airframe's extended fuselage increases internal fuel capacity, while the use of composite materials makes it both lighter and stronger. Additionally, radar-absorbing coatings and optimized air intakes are designed to reduce its radar cross-section, enhancing stealth capabilities. The cockpit's layout, equipped with a wide-area touchscreen display and minimal physical switches, reflects the global move toward glass cockpits. This provides the pilot with better situational awareness and faster response times during missions, all while maintaining comfort and operational efficiency. Performance-wise, the Tejas MK2 is expected to deliver a significant leap over its predecessor. With the powerful General Electric F414 INS6 engine providing nearly 98 kilonewtons of thrust, it can achieve speeds of around Mach 1.8. The aircraft's thrust-to-weight ratio is optimized to ensure high agility and strong climb performance, enabling it to gain altitude quickly during intercept missions. The aircraft service ceiling is estimated to exceed 50,000 feet, giving it the edge in both defensive and offensive roles. The MK2 will also feature enhanced flight control software to deliver superior handling in both subsonic and supersonic conditions. These advancements position the aircraft to perform equally well in dogfights, long-range engagements, and strike missions, making it a true multi-role platform. When it comes to range and payload, the MK2 again demonstrates how far HAL has progressed. With an internal fuel capacity nearly double that of the MK1, and the ability to carry external fuel tanks, it can cover a combat radius of over 1,500 kilometers. For long-distance ferry flights, the range could extend beyond 3,000 kilometers. The aircraft's payload capacity is equally impressive at approximately 6,500 kilograms, which allows it to carry a wide range of weaponry including beyond visual range missiles like Astra, guided bombs, laser-targeted munitions, and potentially even the miniaturized BrahMos ing missile in future variants. This broad arsenal ensures that the MK2 will be capable of both air superiority missions and ground attack operations, adapting easily to different mission requirements. From a systems and avionics perspective, the Tejas MK2 introduces next-generation Indian technologies that rival international platforms. The aircraft will use the indigenous Utam AESA radar, which provides superior target detection, tracking, and electronic countermeasure capabilities. The inclusion of an infrared search and track system allows it to detect enemy aircraft passively without giving away its position. Other upgrades include an electronic warfare suite, onboard oxygen generation system, and integrated life support systems for longer missions. The MK2's avionics suite is designed around open architecture, allowing future upgrades without complete overhauls. Such adaptability is vital as warfare technology evolves rapidly, and HAL's modular design ensures the Tejas can incorporate new sensors, weapons, and communication systems as needed. While electric propulsion isn't applicable to a fighter jet like the Tejas MK2, the aircraft does utilize advanced electrical and digital systems. Its onboard computers, radar systems, and electronic countermeasures rely heavily on efficient electrical management. The F-414 engine includes an auxiliary power unit to power these systems even when the main turbine is idle, and the aircraft's battery systems support mission-critical electronics and emergency backup functions. Refueling is done through conventional methods, with the aircraft equipped to handle both ground-based and in-flight refueling systems. The in-flight refueling probe ensures that the Tejas MK2 can stay airborne for extended durations, making it ideal for long-range patrols or sustained operations during conflicts. The expected cost of the Tejas MK2 program, 
including research, development, and initial production, is around 10,000 crore rupees. The per unit cost will depend heavily on the scale of production and localization of components. With increased indigenous manufacturing and technology transfer, HAL aims to keep costs lower than comparable foreign fighters while maintaining world-class performance standards. The long-term goal is to achieve self-reliance in critical technologies like engines, radars, and avionics. Moreover, with export possibilities to friendly nations, the Tejas MK2 could play a major role in strengthening India's defense manufacturing ecosystem and positioning the country as a global player in the fighter aircraft market. In terms of timeline, HAL has reported that over 60% of the prototype structure has already been completed by 2025, and ground testing is in advanced stages. The rollout of the first prototype is expected by late 2025 or early 2026, with the maiden flight targeted for early 2026. Full-scale flight testing will continue for the next few years, with operational induction likely around 2028 or 2029. The Tejas MK-2's entry into service will mark a new era for the Indian Air Force, bringing indigenous innovation, advanced design, and powerful performance into a single package that will significantly boost India's aerial defense capabilities. It's not just an aircraft, it's a testament to India's growing technological confidence and a symbol of the country's march toward aerospace self-sufficiency.